to my captures. Welcome back to another Mad 19 Ultimate Team video. Today's video, we're going to showcase a gameplay with the brand new Team of the Week, Christian McCaffrey, to see how he is. Here he is. As you guys can see, we'll go ahead and put him as our starter for now. The big thing I like about him is his speed and his ability to catch. I think he has the best catching attributes as a halfback. So we are going to go ahead and try him out. See how he does. We're going to try him in a regular season mode online gameplay against another opponent. Hopefully we can win. If, if we do, that'd be great. If we don't, that's okay. As you guys can see, we need three more games to make the playoffs. We are 4-0 as of now. In this season. So let's go ahead and try out this Christian McCaffrey. See if he's any good. Now I do pass a lot to my uh, running back. So the cool thing I like about him is he is a receiving running back. I do run a lot too. And he is fast. So now we do like the Ricky Williams as he has a 93 trait of breaking tackles. And he breaks tackles like a beast. Let's go ahead and take a look at our top three and our bonus top three. This game's actually going to help us decide whether to keep him or sell him. That, I'm, I'm assuming, is us. Because I do have up those three guys. EA Sports. With me as yes, always, first Charles one was Davis. us. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still Let's valuable. Not just as runners, but started. guys who can catch the ball as well. We are it's really defense. the number of first touches pitch. that determines okay. things these days. Remember, guys. The veteran Matt Bryant set to rock and roll. We're going to get the sound. We are feeling so Matt far in this team. season. This is feeling a As couple our yards deep. It out. Usually, normal circumstances, I don't recommend running it out for you. It's just too much. Especially when your opponent kicks it in the end zone. You get the ball in the 25 yard line, which he did anyway, so, you know, what was that worth? You didn't gain any yards? They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. It looks like we're hitting the opponent that likes to run. So we're going to go ahead and But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Like I said, that's what happens when we <laughs> told our opponent that we're triple teaming his halfback, and he still goes to his halfback lane. We figured they come out with intensity and aggression. Ladies and gentlemen, when your opponent tells you what he's going to do on his next play, change your play if it involves that. As we just told him, we were going to triple team this halfback, and this guy still went to his halfback. Why would you do that? That makes no sense at all. So we are in field goal range, guys. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Yes, go ahead and get it. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up tempo at all. Clock just ran Which out. Which is okay. It was a surprise as maybe his bench was. We're okay. The delay of game backs him up five first and 15. Stone fill the ring. First and 15. Christian McCaffrey has our halfback. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. He'll get three of those penalty yards back here, leaving him with a second and 12. Brandon, all things considered, Remember, the big thing about our running back, back guys game, considering the is they just had against him. his ability to catch the ball. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, that's why we're trying about. He has an 83 catch as our opponent. And a nice gain of 21 yards. 
as our opponent does an all-out blitz and it bites him right back in the butt. We knew he was a threat running it and catching it, and any way you can get the ball in his hands, he wanted to do so. Personally, I thought he ran the best routes of anyone coming out of his draft class, and that included the wide receivers. Last year, 80 receptions, also in the return game. He's a bit of a Swiss Army knife, isn't he? He certainly is. Every which way you want to go, however you want to package him, I do think his running production will increase. Remember, guys, we do get the ball back at half. Since we do get the ball back at half, we are okay with selling with the field goal right now. But we are going to bust our butt trying out this Christian, Christian McCaffrey. And he'll be as we go ahead and we hit Christian McCaffrey again. He is going to be the star of this video. So many times you hear today's NFL Again, described as a space this game. Get game your best determines whether we keep Christian McCaffrey or That's whether why we sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. That's why right, pick it up from McCaffrey. The oh, and, and he fumbles. That's not good. That's not good going towards his side. And we hear about the red zone, right? From the 20 yard line. And that's going good for our opponent. That scoring right. zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10 yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the money zone. You have one job, take care of the Remember, ball. guys, our that's opponent good. loves running. Jamal so we are going to, again, triple well, team. Keep in mind, his partner, running. especially in the second half, Why not? when you've got a running back of this size, especially when you know. dimensions. And he likes going to these running backs. As we go, hey, ladies and gentlemen, get him on the one yard line. This might actually work towards our advantage. What I mean by that, us getting a fumble right there, because we were basically in field goal range. We weren't counting on us making a touchdown. And what I mean by that is, if he doesn't convert here, he's going to have to punt, and then we're just going to eat up the clock, which we weren't going to be able to do in the first place. So again, this just might work in our benefit. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. It'll be a pickup of 12 yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. As our opponent oddly is going for it in our red zone. And Ladies and gentlemen, take it from me. Don't do what our opponent's doing right now. Don't go for it on fourth in your opponent's red zone. This, this close. Don't ever do that. As our opponent made the biggest mistake he can make. We, can, we gave him the ball and he goes for it on fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, our opponent is making the biggest mistakes that you can make in Madden. Don't do what our opponent does. Learn from what our opponent did. Big mistake. Why would you go for a fourth and five or whatever in the R15? Who does that? As we go ahead and we score a touchdown, do you see how that overturned? You go for it, we score a touchdown. Crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, Christian McCaffrey made up for that fumble by scoring a touchdown. Again, we're going to look at his touchdowns, his catching yards, his catching touchdowns, his receiving yards, his blocking, his mistakes, his drops, and then we're going to evaluate it all at the end of the game and decide whether he's going to keep it or sell it. So far, he made up for that fumble. He got an easy touchdown. Our opponent's making mistakes left and right. We don't know why you would do this. Our opponent's already got a turnover and went for it on fourth down and didn't get it. We don't know what our opponent's doing. If our opponent makes one more mistake, that's virtually game, ladies and gentlemen. As our opponent gets sacked, because if our opponent makes one more mistake, remember guys, we get the ball at half. If our opponent makes one more mistake, we're going to go up by two scores in the first half and get the ball back at second half. That's not a good combination. Our opponent's not playing like a Madden player. And he has a decent team, too. That's the crazy thing. As he gets sacked again, two plays in a row. Does our opponent know how to play Madden? It doesn't seem like it. With a team like his, he should be doing ten times better than this. Again, ladies and gentlemen, if our opponent goes for it again or gets another turnover, that's virtually game. Nothing our opponent can do. We'll score at least a field goal, go up by two scores, go to half, up by two scores, which we've never lost. 230 online ranked games, we've never lost going to half, up by two scores. Plus, we get the ball back at half? Yeah, that, that doesn't even make any sense for our opponent. 
He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And As our opponent gets tackled, let's see if he risks it for the biscuit yards, again. But they need because remember, guys, if he down. does and doesn't get it, really that's virtually the game. He puts himself back, automatically by two scores. Let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. And he did everything he could there. Let's do a QB spy, QB contained, so he can't run it this time. Remember, guys, if, I don't know why our opponent this early in the game, as he gets sacked and drops the ball, our opponent, they, they, that's game, that's game. We are playing a world class weirdo. Our opponent does not know how to play. Why would you keep, if you can't get it once, what makes you think you're going to get it again? So we're going to go ahead and milk the clock. As we are already in field goal range, all we need is a field goal to go up by two scores. We've never lost this game. Up by two scores at half. Never. On first down, this is McCaffrey. It's a lot so we're gonna go ahead. Bringing up second Good down. down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that Remember, guys, we are in field goal range as long as we don't get the run beyond the 37. We can't take long field goals. As long as our opponent keeps blitzing, we're good. On second down, here's Mahomes. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Grady Jarrett coming up the middle gets him there the for a loss of about nine. Going to need oh, better right. protection okay. here. Third and long following the Whatever sack keeps him in the game because we need to showcase our play. Go, go, go. Now Mahomes. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Not only go ahead and go for it. What do we got to lose? We get the ball back. That defense right there. The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. Hopefully, our opponent intercepts. Mahomes now to throw. He's gonna fire one deep. Nope, we get a touchdown, ladies and gentlemen. That's game. We don't know what type of opponent we are playing, but he obviously can't play the game. Mahomes now going to lead his guys. We might as well go for a two point conversion and make it hurt. To throw it's Mahomes. And they're going to get to So we're up by two scores guys. Remember, we do get the ball back at half. Our opponent has went for it twice on fourth down. Not got it. He hasn't gotten it once on fourth down and he got one turnover. The return and our opponent makes the mistake of running it out again. Why would you keep doing that? You're losing yards, you're risking a turnover. Again, ladies and gentlemen, when your opponent kicks it deep in the uh, red zone or the uh, end zone, don't run the ball out. You guys, I'm hoping you're learning from this guy, from this opponent. Uh, this opponent is not playing the game right. Apparently he thinks he is, but we have like freaking six sacks, a fumble. Oh, four sacks. Four sacks. No, 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 five sacks. A fumble. Yeah, this guy doesn't know how to play. From the shotgun, it's Vic. Being chased out left. As he gets power slammed. And he'll get to the 29 yard line brought down there. He likes scrambling with his quarterback. I don't, I don't suggest that either. As he gets sacked again, ladies and gentlemen, that's seven sacks. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he's going to probably go for it again. I don't know why you would keep doing this. Uh, I, I mean, our opponent hasn't even got one fourth down. What's the point? If you can't get it, why keep going for it? The more you go for it, the less you get it. He lobbed that one up, got lucky. That's the rifle. We'll take it. Again, anything positive that he does, he's not going to win. Anything positive he does, though, will keep him in the game, which is what we need because we need to showcase our play. So as long as he has confidence and thinks... Just because he makes a couple plays, he's in the lead. That keeps him in the game. He's not going to win. That's 100% fact. 
He's not going to win. And, he'll work it inside the 30 to the and I guarantee you that, guys. If he wins, I would give away a 90 overall player. He gets. If he wins. And some moxie, he's not going to win. Danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you down for it. He reads defenses. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. That was our bad. We did play man on man. But the one good thing that came out of this is we got plenty of time to score. And remember, guys, we get the ball back at half. He's not going to touch the ball the rest of this half. All we need is a field goal to go right back up by uh, two scores. And remember, we've never lost a game going up half up by two scores. We have like 230 online ranked games. We've never lost a game going up to half up by two scores. Don't plan on doing that today. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football. Full half to be played. So again, everyone, we are showcasing uh, Christian McCaffrey today, trying to decide whether we keep him or do we sell him. They go play action here on so far, down. he's not doing too bad. As They'll you guys see, he is a receiving back. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. As our so opponent hits his again. NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Looking to throw is Mahomes. As we go ahead, we get another first down. It's Howard. He's got his first catch Our opponent keeps blitzing. The blitzes aren't working. He should be doing a coverage D and keeping us from a uh, field goal range. That play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Mahomes going to throw. Now he'll go it underneath to his running back. Complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The only chance that our opponent has is if we don't get the field goal for eight yards. And again, it's Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target, and it's third and short. Shot before the half from Mahomes. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. Mahomes be bored. And likely man. time for one final play here in the half. So they will go for it on fourth down. So he's more likely than a blitz. They'll throw now on the final play. All right, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget we get the ball back at half. We're here to showcase Christian McCaffrey. We are 4-0 in this season so far. We are playing an opponent that likes to go for every fourth down. We are going to do our best to showcase just Christian McCaffrey. And what that means is we need the whole field to make plays. The Madden Elite's offense trotting out again. And last time this unit was out here. We are glad that our opponent, that we keep our opponent points. in there. As long as we keep advantage. our opponent in there, we can showcase the video coach. That's the goal of the term. Complimentary football. <laughs> offense take care of the defense. Defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. So our opponent, a chance for them to he likes to, uh, and help their team. Yeah, we'll he likes to play. They can recoup and We're going to try to use that against him. And remember, if we get a field goal range, guys, that's that's good. Mahomes to throw on second down. That'll be caught over the middle by Moss. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit the receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam back. He gets a good blitz off. So since our defense has been playing pretty good, uh, we'll go ahead and punt it. Remember, guys, this guy's had the ball four times, or five times scored once. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, 
And he goes for every fourth down. That's what we're going to have to our advantage. Running the ball for him, that's going to do him no good. He's going to have to pass. This third quarter. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge. And he runs the ball. Again, all that does is kill the clock. And the more he first downs he gets, the more time he takes. He can't afford to kill the clock. Apparently this guy really doesn't know how to play. And let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. And there he goes again. We will take it. We will let him run all day, ladies and gentlemen. See if they can get the latter 50%. A gain of he can run all day, down. even if he scores a touchdown, as long as he takes all the third quarter. Three yards in a cloud of dust. In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play I, on right and chew I, it I, up. I, now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Vic on second down. Steps away to his left. Dumping it off for Johnson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 14 yards is the pickup there at a jet first down. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. Now, like I say, guys, as long as he takes the whole third quarter and he can't settle for a field goal, field goal won't help him. There and now second down. We don't even care if he scores the a touchdown. Ones that win are ones that make adjustments. And right now, I think this team needs to open things up. As you guys can see, he's going nowhere, rushing it, and all he's doing is killing the clock. So he loses three yards there. He's going to have to pass it right here. A guy that knows a thing or two about making tackles behind the line of scrimmage, Kevin Green, at it again. He can't settle for field goals either, ladies and gentlemen. He has to go for it. Try to keep a lion away from what a lion wants to get. That was Kevin Green. He knows it too. Now, if he doesn't get this, guys, game. And they're going to go for this. Just one for three so far on fourth down tries. They're trying again. If he does get it, I'm glad he at least Here's wasted the whole third quarter. And we didn't get it, ladies and gentlemen. That is probably game. Todd Bowles tried it, went for it, but it didn't pay off. And as a result, possession switches. So in a way of us not scoring on our last drive and giving the ball to him, it actually worked out good for us because he killed the clock for us, which is what we were trying to do. Good run. Let's go ahead and go to fourth quarter. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, we don't even have to score. Don't have to score at all. If we get to field goal range, that's game. That puts us up by uh, two scores. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again, and he'll get this one. I love how he keeps driving. Casey Hayward makes the tackle. He has just been completely taken out of this game. We're in the fourth quarter. He's single digits in the rushing department. And I know we look at him because the numbers do go to his production. But how about the guys blocking for him? They don't just have his numbers of ball carry. First down, ladies and gentlemen. That's a minute and 45 seconds. We can take out in the fourth quarter. Our opponent is basically playing for a lost cause. Yardage to the 35. There's nothing our opponent can do, so we're just going to go ahead and stack up the stats for Fisher and Hatton. One more play, and we go ahead and hit the two-minute warning as our opponent blitzes every play, ladies and gentlemen. To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on. And Two minute warning ball. has hit the clock, ladies and gentlemen. This game. Yeah, they'll bring it up here to right at the if we get another first down, that is virtually the game as we will be able to burn a minute and 45 down. seconds off the clock. Our opponent is more likely going to blitz. So we got to figure out a way to use that against our advantage. But if we have to, we will punt. Come back for the electrifying Again, if we get the first down, that's game. I mean, I said it was game a long time ago, and I still sit on that back. As we come up on a big third down, 
Here's Mahomes to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Ryan Shazier in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. So we will go ahead and punt. That's fine. We are playing stellar. Defense. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this Remember, guys, he's had the ball six times and scored once. So percentage-wise, we have him. Not to mention, anything that he touches down the middle of the field will burn 15 seconds off the clock. He's going to have to score fast. He has to pass it. He can't run it. That'll burn about 15 to 20 seconds off the clock. He can't afford that. They'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. He's going to let it fly. Ladies and gentlemen, that's game. Welcome to the live stream. As we are just about in civil range. As we told you from the beginning, we got this game. We had this game won from the beginning. We never doubted it. We told you guys he has to start burning his timeout. Because we can virtually burn a minute and 45 seconds off the clock. He is going to play. What he doesn't realize is... We have an 88 overall kicker. All we got to do is kick a field goal, and we are up by two scores again. He has to use all his timeouts. If we gain two more yards, we are in field goal range. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in field goal range. So our opponent's going to have no timeouts and down by two scores with no two-minute warning. He's going to have to burn his next uh, timeout. I mean, if I were him, though, I wouldn't burn it. If he can hold me, I would save it. Because he's going to need all his timeout. As we get the ball back and we burn the extra time and we are in field goal range. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go for our goal. Remember, we have an 88 overall kicker. Perfect kick. Shouldn't be anything wrong with it. We are up by two scores, ladies and gentlemen. Just the way it should be. Our opponent has had the ball seven times. Turned the ball over four times. Went for it on fourth down twice. Hasn't gotten it. I mean, what's the odds that our opponent's going to score a touchdown in less than a minute? Very slim. He has no timeouts. He can't afford to run it anymore. He can't afford any pass down the middle of the field. And all he keeps doing is playing the same formation. Victor throw. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a sack and a fumble. There is no way that our opponent can win. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to win again, just like I told you guys. We don't know why our opponent thinks this whole game that he's going to win. It was needing to so we will look at our stats after this of uh, our running back to see if uh, he was worth it. Our opponent has to uh, has to blitz every day. I mean, his only positive is that we still want stats with our running back. Other than that, he has no positives. Interesting. Mahomes wants to throw it. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down. So we'll go ahead and run one more play. We'll kick a field goal. Just to stuff in our opponent's face. Just to show him, you know, that's what happens when you want to play a game that you've already lost for sure. Mahomes to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And they got it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and take our field goal and stuff the points in our opponent's face. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, our stats. That's game, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Madden 19. And Bryant's kick is good. I mean, our opponent blitzed a lot, so we didn't, we couldn't really see McCaffrey. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep him or not, but I do still have my uh, Ricky Williams. Uh, I don't know. I think I want the coins. I might end up selling them. 
yeah, I might actually end up selling them. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for our gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy. We are 5-7. and seven. We, As you guys can see from the right side, we haven't lost any games. Most of our opponents quit. We are doing pretty good. Hopefully, we do that good on Weekend League. Until next time, I'm out.